a Fond du Lac police officer has been killed in the line of duty. Two other officers have been injured. Authorities say a man opened fire at a home during an early morning investigation. Officials say that suspect is dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now, police say the officers were investigating a sexual assault at 24 South Lincoln Avenue this morning. At 6.30, police say the first shots were fired. Those shots led to a police standoff with the suspect. Officials evacuated people in the area and blocked off the street. Authorities say the standoff ended when the gunman took his own life. At this point, police have not released any information about a possible motive. The community is mourning the loss of 28-year-old officer Craig Burkholtz tonight. The two-year veteran of the police department had also served in Iraq and Afghanistan with the Army. He leaves behind a wife. Two other officers now focus on recovery. Officer Ryan Williams was shot twice in the chest. He is currently listed in critical condition at Theta Clark Medical Center in Nina. Also injured in the incident was Officer Zach Schultz, reportedly injured on a stairwell. He was treated and released. The incident took place on the west side of the city of Fond du Lac. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has the latest details. Fond du Lac Police Chief Deputy Kevin Lemke says an investigation at this, this morning, house quickly escalated into a standoff when 30-year-old James Cruxon opened fire on police. At about 6.30 a.m. this morning, they were fired upon by a large caliber weapon. Two officers of the Fond du Lac Police Department and a canine unit were struck. Officer Craig Burkholtz, Craig was 28 years old, died as a result of injuries he sustained at the scene. After the initial shots, a SWAT team and several other agencies came to help. For hours, police staked out the house on Lincoln Avenue. At one point before 9 o'clock, gunfire could again be heard in the neighborhood. There, there was a woman also inside the residence that we did assist. You can see that unfold in these pictures Fox 11 obtained from a freelance photographer on the scene. Police say they don't know exactly who the woman is, but they do know she is now safe. One of our main concerns at the scene this morning when officers arrived was to check the welfare of a six-year-old girl that we believed was in the residence. Officials say that girl wasn't here but at a residence nearby and also safe. Neighbors near the commotion were also evacuated as officials tried to end the standoff. It is our understanding that the suspect, who is 30-year-old James Cruxon, died at the scene of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police say Cruxon had a criminal history but wouldn't go into specifics.